right what's up guys back again with another video before i get going today i just wanted to make this video because people be always ask me why do i have so many credit cards and it's very simple because you can leverage credit cards to get the capital you need for your business to start a business you can leverage your personal credit that's why i always talk about personal credit and i'm gonna keep reiterating it because it's very very important and it's the way of america you know it's the rules that america put into place for people to get rich and unfortunately the only people that take advantage of this stuff is the people that know about it. it is a way that it will put you in debt if you use it incorrectly so the people that take advantage and use it the correct way succeed and move forward and able to accomplish the things that they want to accomplish but people that use it the wrong way find themselves in the debt that's why i got people with family members friends and everybody that always say you know i hate credit cards i would never use credit cards i pay for everything cash i'm always buy everything cash but how you gonna get rich also too let me say this everybody don't desire to be rich so whatever your lifestyle is is really up to you take me for example i can never buy another truck ever again and i will be okay you know i'm able to live the lifestyle that i want do whatever i want with one truck currently i have one truck and sometimes i ask myself why would i even you know want to do it why would i even want to even you know expand or take it to the next level or you know scale up and it's because why not you know why not when everything's in place for me to take advantage of it by using credit cards because america has put a set aside made these rules to where banks loan you money at zero percent if you do it correctly with credit cards for example you have introductory offers right some of these banks offer you zero percent for 12 months 15 months 18 months you got 18 months zero percent money that you can liquidate that credit card and purchase things the reason why you want to have multiple credit cards because if you got multiple credit cards with multiple different businesses you don't have to max out one credit card if you got twenty thousand dollar limit on a credit card and you're using five from that one you got a ten thousand dollar credit limit on another card you're using seven from that one or whatever the case may be you take all of this money and then you purchase whatever you want at zero percent and then to take it a step further you know if you needed more time you can always start another credit card open another credit card to have a zero percent offer and do a balance transfer for the money that you weren't able to pay off in that year so you can repeat this cycle and there's so much strategies out there that you can use to your advantage to use and borrow money at zero percent you can purchase trailers you can purchase cars you can purchase equipment you can purchase trucks you can do all these things you can use this money for down payments you can use it for all these different things now that's just the spectrum if you wanted to purchase equipment and start a business and those type of things but also keep in mind if you want to buy a house if you want to drive the car you always wanted you have to have good credit or you have to work hard day after day night after night save up all your money now you're going to give these folks all your capital cash to buy your dream car that you don't work 15 years and saved up for 15 years now you're going to give them all your capital when a lot of these car companies now I'm talking about cars for example because maybe you don't want to become a millionaire maybe you don't want these things so let's say for example you want to buy your dream car because it's what you want and i am a person that believe in this world you should be able to buy whatever it is that you want you know if it's something that you want you should be able to buy it you know you can buy whatever it is you want so if it's that dream car that you want you know a lot of these car companies they got zero percent interest for 60 months 72 months zero percent interest 36 months whatever the case may be if your credit's good why give them your $30,000 cash when they say, hey, come finance the car and you don't have to pay any interest. You can pay every month for the car and you won't pay nothing extra. Meanwhile, you can go to work every day. You still got your $30,000 in the bank and you didn't use none of your own money to buy that car. The job that you're working is now paying for that car and it's worked with the same with business. That's why personally you should use this as an opportunity with credit cards and business credit and things like that to purchase assets purchase things that are going to make money that's why i talk about credit so much on this channel because if you take credit and put it with the trucking industry a billion dollar industry if you take something that you can leverage credit 
and match it with a billion dollar industry, that's how you're gonna become rich regardless. But that being said, that's why I have so many credit cards because I done built the foundation by using my personal credit to leverage business credit. Business credit because with big banks, most of them are going to hard pull you. Don't get me wrong, I like credit cards that do a soft pull and they give you a credit card just by doing a soft pull on your credit. But let's be real. A lot of these big banks, they're going to do a hard pull. They want to do a hard pull and they want to check your credit. But at the end of the day, it's just an inquiry. Rolls off in two years. Once they do that hard pull, now they gave me a business card, business credit, business loan that don't report to my personal credit. It only reports to my business credit. So now what I can do is I can go to another bank do the same thing. When they pull my credit, they're not gonna see that loan that I have. They're not gonna see that credit card that I have. You get what I'm saying? Do you not see the power in that? That I can buy a truck one day, go to another bank, put in an application, they run my credit and they can see my credit, but they don't see a truck that I just bought. If you can't see the power in that, then you know, I can't do nothing for you. If you don't understand that, then you really just don't understand what's going on when it comes to this business. You don't really understand how to leverage your personal credit to get rich. I've showed you guys my personal credit score. You can go back with videos and videos I've showed you multiple times. My own personal credit score, I showed it to you guys. I built that over time, you know, and that's why I'm telling you you should start right now if something wrong with your personal credit you should work on that right now and start building your personal credit because you're gonna need it you're gonna need it it makes sense or you can continue doing what you're doing you can drive your truck or you can do whatever business that you're doing and you can take all your cash and build and scale that way it's nothing wrong with that either if you want to do it that way but me personally I'd rather keep my money apply for a credit card or a loan, use their money, and then I take that money to buy something that's gonna make me money, and then I just keep repeating that. That's how I'm gonna get rich regardless, whether I buy another truck or not. And I showed you guys how I started a brand new business. Using my personal credit, I already got three business credit cards on that business, and I haven't even opened a bank account yet. Since then, I have opened a business bank account for this business, and I went with PNC Bank. And the reason why I went with PNC Bank because if you look at my channel, I got pretty much all the top banks on the list. I have some type of relationship with them, whether it's credit card, checking accounts, savings accounts, or whatever. So with this business, I decide to use banks that I'm not using already. That way, I'm starting relationships with other banks that I don't have already. In this bank right here, PNC Bank, I opened a brand new checking account for a new business that I started that I'm gonna be doing another part of the trucking industry that I'm gonna be using this account and this business for. It's a part of the trucking industry. It's not dealing with me and trucks directly, but it is dealing with the trucking industry and it's a brand new business. And they gave me a credit card for this business as well. So now I have four business credit card that's gonna be reporting to this brand new business that's not even a month old yet. And I'm already building business credit on it. So when I go to get funding for this business, purchase equipment for this business, I don't have to use my personal money. That's why I keep reiterating that it is very important to build your personal credit. Start with one business credit card. Matter of fact, if you haven't already, make sure you start a business. Let's start there. Start a business right now. And even if you are, working a nine to five, even if you are a company driver, no matter what it is, start your LLC or incorporation or however you, way you want to do it, go ahead and start that. Use your personal credit to start building business credit. Start getting trade lines reported to that business credit so you can start using that to purchase assets, which are things that are going to bring you money that can pay for the things that you want. So once you purchase those assets, you can use the income from that truck that you bought to buy the car that you want, to buy that house that you want. You know, that's how it goes. That's how the rich get rich and the poor stay poor because the poor believe we shouldn't use credit cards. We shouldn't get into debt. You use debt to purchase assets. Those assets would pay for the debt, keep the profit and purchase the liabilities that you want like cars and motorcycles and things like that you know the toys that you want the trips you want to go on which a lot of that stuff can be tax deductions as well i'm gonna leave it off with this so for example let's say i want to purchase a truck and i go to the bank and i get a loan for that truck the truck is thirty thousand. my payments is eight hundred dollars a month do you not know i take that truck put it on the road it's gonna make money right 
So the money that that truck made, I used that money to pay that $800 a month. And whatever is left over is profit. So now the truck that I just bought with the loan that I didn't pay no money out of pocket for is paying the loan back. Not only that, did you not know that this truck is a tax deduction because it weighs over 6,000 pounds? So not only did I not use my own money to purchase this truck, truck is paying for itself because it's an asset, and that asset, 100% tax deduction. This is how I'm using the rules that America set for to get rich, and I'ma get rich regardless, whether I'm driving one truck or still scaling up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. As always, your comments are welcome. Like, share, subscribe, and until next time, See you in the next video.